All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy. And for this video, we're going to be taking a first look at the new and improved Odin. Now, I had many of you guys hit me up after my last video saying, Yo, broski, now you have the uniform maxed out for Odin and you're pre-rolling the gear stats for a CTP of Rage, essentially. Why don't you give us some gameplay with a CTP of Rage at level 60, maybe even at level 70, and a tier 3 with the uniform? And I'll definitely get around to doing that eventually. However, the first thing I absolutely have to do with Odin is take him for a spin a couple times around the block in the base kit to see what you guys have to look forward to if you do not have the means to pick up his uniform, especially considering Odin is now a character that you have to pay crystals for. And it would be really shitty if you have to pay crystals for a character, then spend millions of gold, tons of black antimatter, and then buy a uniform for him just for him to actually be serviceable when you have other characters that doesn't require you spend any crystals at all and not even require a uniform plus they don't require you to spend nearly as much resources right so it would be pretty silly of me to just overlook the rework altogether but essentially send the message to netmarvel that whenever they rework a character they can basically just shortchange the base kit rework and just go straight towards giving everything to the uniform essentially meaning that the rework was pointless can't do that won't do that will not give these guys the easy way out they don't give us game mode and content improvement that often if the least they're gonna do to us right is give us new characters and uniforms and like one or two reworks per year i'm gonna make them work and if i gotta do it alone i'm gonna do it alone okay so we're gonna take a look at odin what i will say so far is i love the animation for his new skills they are really really cool he does way more damage than he was doing before however he still feels underwhelmed maybe that will change and hopefully that is the case once we get into tier 3 but at level 60 right now the damage has improved he can now keep up with some of the level 60 characters in the game that we get in 2020 but he still isn't like ahead of them by any means especially considering He's a tier 2 native that costs a ton of materials, okay? Especially his survivability, I find it to be underwhelming. Even though he does have immunity now, the cooldown time is very long. And I think they did that on purpose to kind of like show you that, yes, his damage has improved. However, you're missing a little something. So go ahead and pick up the uniform because that's going to offer you a heal. That's going to offer you more damage and more survivability right so i feel like once again they should change us on the rework and it's very evident you're gonna see like if you don't see it when i play you'll notice it when you play right so we'll take him into some content i'm gonna show you guys what he can do for me and you guys can let me know how you are personally feeling about the rework for odin is it a good rework yes especially considering where he was however i wanted a little bit more especially in the survivability department. They didn't have to give him like God tier damage output, right, without the uniform. But I feel like his survivability is kind of hit and miss. And that's just how I feel. Maybe that's because I don't have a CTP on him or nothing like that, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll start off by taking him into Shadowland so you guys can have an idea of what he does on like a stage 60 plus, right? Because previously, let me, let me reroll this. Yeah, we, we can go or well, combat types. Well, as universal, you should still be able to do it, but this is fine. This is perfect, actually. This is a pretty challenging um, wave mode. But previously, Odin could not do this for me, okay? Not my Odin. So it should be interesting to see if he could do this. I have not tried this, obviously. I just rerolled this in, in, in the video, so we'll see. So we're going to start off the third skill to put up the immunity. However, the third skill, yep, takes the proc. And I can't really see him. Yeah, see, like, uh huh. Um, okay, okay, Odin. Um, maybe I'm trash. Maybe I'm trash, guys. It's me. It's 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 not the rework. It's me. All right. Let's see. Okay. 
okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a little bit better keeping him alive, but it's definitely not as smooth as, um, okay. He's definitely not as safe, okay. Yeah. He's definitely not as safe as Red Hulk. Yeah. Like, he's not as safe as Red Hulk. I'm not seeing it, boys. Like, I feel like they should have changed him on the rework to sell the uniform. I, I, I always, whew, I always fear an outcome like this. This is a difficult stage, but I have plenty of non-tier <laughs> tier two natives that can body this like in one go. So it's kind of sad. And I'm going to show you guys all of these failed attempts because I don't want to sell you on a dream. Like, sure, I could pretty it up, but I won't. Let's see. Okay. It's a blooper highlight reel. Let's go. How many attempts will it take Odin to actually clear this stage, guys? Let's find out. Let me say this. I feel like if I put on the uniform, I could probably slap this stage. But what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Bro. Like, the damage is better. Bro. That long ass cooldown on his third skill is just absolutely murder, bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Like, how many times is this old man gonna die, bro? How many times is it? I'm not cutting it out, boys. I'm not. I'm not cutting it out. Okay. I want you guys to see this. Like, don't let anybody sh don't let anybody bullshit you into thinking that they freaking like gave Odin some amazing rework to the base kit. The uniform may very well be amazing, right? But, hey, he's looking kind of, he's looking kind of sus right here, bro. Maybe it's the team, the team that I'm up against. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm canceling the skills too early. I don't know. It could be many things. I will say this, though. This is just my first day playing with him after the rework. Less than 24 hours, okay? And my first time using him on this stage. However, he's not really wowing me. You're literally running out of his um, fist skill. That's not good. He's very, very slow, and that's biting him in the ass. actually struggling this um barrier is very very deceptive it, it gives you the illusion that you're actually protected because it stays up long after the immunity is gone right wow he's actually gonna die my gosh yeah i'm dead now eh because i have no protection the guard's not gonna protect me from jack and the iframes are partial yo He's actually struggling to do this, bro. Yeah, I'm trash. It's not Odin, bro. It's not the rework, bro. It's, it's, I'm, I'm just trash. I know I'm going to get that one guy in the comments saying, yo, my Odin, my base kid Odin solo in like floor 100, bro. Maybe he can. But like, hold on. Not gonna lie, this has me nervous. Bro, how many attempts has it taken so far? I don't know. Realistically, I think it's taken too many, too many attempts to actually clear this with Odin. Could I have played better? Definitely. Why? Because this is my first time playing with them on this particular stage or even in Shadowlands since the rework. It's been 24 hours, like, and I've had less time to play with him because obviously i have to go to work i got things to do right but the point is 
he doesn't look that hot. Base kit does not look that hot, right? They could have definitely given him a heel. They could have made the iframes at least a little bit better. I find that the gaps in there get him hit and get him killed pretty easily because he has no way to regain HP. Maybe it's because he's an old man. They decided to shortchange him, right? And if you go into World Boss, you're going to notice that it's even worse, especially if you go like on a stage that has um, the Blade Twister or whatever. Man, like it's crazy, bro. So if you buy, if you're building Odin, right? If you buy Odin because you didn't have him and you're building him right now and you don't see yourself getting the uniform, stop. Stop. The good thing about using him in World Boss is you can move away from people and they won't like be right up on you. And that way, um, hold on. Because you have a, a larger arena to play with. And you have strikers that you can use to heal you. He's not gonna look as trash, but the base kit is still pretty bad. It looks really cool. Let me say that, right? The skills look way cooler, way more like 2020 than they did previously, but this this is not the all god, okay? Maybe the uniform is. I haven't tested the uniform extensively yet, but from what I'm seeing right here, nobody can tell me that this base kit is justice for Odin. Sorry, I'm not I'm not seeing it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm going to give you 100%, bro. I'm not going to sell you on a dream. Is he good? Maybe. Maybe at tier 3 he will be. Come on. Oh, wow. That guard broken. He's too slow. I think he's too slow. The thing about his cinematic is... He slows down, but everything around him kind of just remains at full speed, right? You know how, like, for She-Hulk, like, Red She-Hulk and Green She-Hulk, when they do their cinematic, everything around them slow down, right? So they don't get attacked. But for Odin, it seems like when he slows down, everything just continues at full speed. So he can get hit. Like, and for literally all of his skills, they have him slowing down, bro. Like, I don't know if it's a new thing they're trying out to, like, have that build up. But, I don't know, guys. I don't think the base kit got the justice it deserved. Again, this is the base kit. I know I'm going to have somebody in the comments saying, Oh, but the uniform, the uniform is top tier, the uniform is... Bro, they said we voted for a rework for the base kit. So, this is what we're, our votes were worth? Even though the, the voting was rigged? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I'm not going to be one of those content creators that freaking sell you on a dream or like buy the uniform, just play him in the uniform forever and then just like pretend like all is well, bro. Nah, it was a rework for the base kit too. We should we should have gotten more than this, bro. Like, I don't see no amazing DPS here. I don't see amazing survivability here. I saw, I see flashy skills, way flashier skills than he had previously. All right, and that's good, but all flash and no substance. That's not how we rock on this channel, boys. You know what I'm saying we don't rock like that. Like, I'm not seeing no god to your damage. And if you don't have the damage, and he don't clearly don't have the survivability, what do we got, bro? Man was struggling on our freaking Shadowland stage. Maybe I'll feel differently in a day or two. You guys know me. Like, for every character on this channel that I showcase, I showcase them in multiple different videos against multiple different bosses. So it's never a one and done with me, right? Maybe I'll come back in like a week. Not, not a week, obviously. I'm going to make multiple videos on him this next two weeks, right? But maybe I'll come back tomorrow or the day after and I have a lot more positive things to say about Odin. Maybe we'll try him out in PvP without the uniform and see how he does, right? I know... I'm going to get somebody coming in and be like, yo, but the uniform is so good. Yes, the uniform is good. Okay. Yes. But what about the base kit, dog? 
Are we just gonna avoid the elephant in the room or, or the god in the room? But what about the basic dog? It was, it, it, yo, this is not a situation where like Thanos got a uniform and it took him from being in like 2015 or 2016 or whatever and then brought him into 2020, right? It's not one of those situations. The base kit was supposed to be coming into 2020 as well, right? It wasn't just, oh, we'll bring the base kit into 2017 with some new flashy, like, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> skills, and then we'll bring the uniform in and that's in 2020. You know what I'm saying? This was supposed to be in 2022. Can you guys honestly tell me that, yeah, maybe the defense down, right, isn't like, not this, maybe the defense down is in 2020, but honestly, the rest of it, dog, until you get into tier three, I don't have a final verdict on the base. But then think about it, guys. Think about it. You're going to have to pay Crystal. It was one thing if he was free, right? If it's one thing, if they actually did what I said and made him free from the story mission. But if you're going to pay Crystals and get old into 60 and you're going to struggle like this, bro, or worse, right? By the way, I have a couple of Odin's blessings on him. And I'm going to go full blessings on this guy. Blessings on, blessings on, blessings on, bless. Look at my life, man. Hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. Copyright. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> uh, if you have to pay crystals and Odin still looks like this and require you to spend more crystals, is it really worth it until you get into tier three? You let me know, man. A lot of y'all, like myself, we love Odin, right? But don't let your love for the uniform and how cool the new skills look and all that blind you from the truth, bro. They shafted us on the base kit reward. That's facts. Like, this man is so smooth to play, guys. So smooth to play. So safe. Like, it's crazy, right? But then we have the base kit. Yes, I know. This is a uniform. But the thing is, he's going to cost you way less than Odin. Bro, just getting his, uni his, getting his uniform cost less than just getting Odin but then you have to get Odin and get his uniform and invest all that into him bro I personally think the base kit for Odin is going to end up being weaker than him with his uniform money thing is like I don't know some some of you guys are going to like disregard everything I'm saying man but for the people who rock with me you know like I don't let hype blind me bro I give you the truth they shafted us dog Odin's base kit should have been better, okay? Next video, we'll check out the uniform and see what I like and what I don't like about it. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to give you the truth and how I feel in every freaking video, whether you guys want it, need it, or care for it. And that's just facts. I'm gone. Peace.